Dear students, my name is Dr. Ire Gowda. I am working as a senior lecturer in Government College, Halanka. Today, I am going to discuss uh, one very important chapter of your chemistry that is called electrochemistry. So, in electrochemistry, based on the concepts, you have to attend the CET questions. But very important thing is, you should know the correct way of understanding the subject. Adrinda, Yaude on the CET questions na attend Madhuaga, Nimge, Nimade Hadanta subject na Nima Manasnali it condirbeko. A subject na concept based mele nivo a CET questions in a attend Madhuakagate. Electrochemistry nalu aste very important chapter in chemistry though. Electro those who are attending the all questions from electrochemistry, hundred percent they will get the success. Adrinda let us discuss that electrochemistry in detail. See, in the definition of electrochemistry itself, there is an explanation. Electro means electricity, chemistry means chemical re reactions. So, electrical energy can be converted into chemical energy or chemical energy can be converted into electrical energy. Therefore, in electrochemistry, we are studying the interconversion of electrical and chemical energies. So, this is the important concept. See, a device is required to convert electrical energy into chemical energy or chemical energy into electrical energy. Those devices are named as the electrochemical cells. There are two types of electrochemical cells. One is the galvanic cell, another is the electrolytic cell. Galvanic cell is a device from which electricity can be produced from chemical reactions, but electrolytic cell is a device in which electrical energy is converted into chemical energy. Therefore, we have to concentrate more on galvanic cells and electrolytic cells. Then we can take the applications of the galvanic cells. They are called batteries and fuel cells. Now, let us know the correct information regarding the galvanic cell. As I told you, galvanic cell is a device from which electricity is produced by spontaneous chemical reactions involving oxidation and reduction. That spontaneous word is very important because from the non-spontaneous chemical reactions, we cannot produce electricity from chemical reactions spontaneously. So that now we have to know galvanic cell by taking Daniel cell is the example. Daniel cell, you know, it is made up of two electrodes. One is the copper electrode, another is the zinc electrode. Copper electrode means copper rod is dipped in copper sulphate solution. Zinc electrode means zinc rod is dipped in zinc sulphate solution. These two electrodes are connected by the special device called salt bridge. Salt bridge is a device used to connect the two electrodes it eliminates the liquid-liquid junction potential. So, one more function of that salt bridge is, it maintains the electrical neutrality. It maintains electrical neutrality. Now, after connecting the two electrodes by the salt bridge, copper electrode acts as the cathode, zinc electrode acts as the anode. This is the basis of copper and cathode and zinc anode based on the standard reduction potential values. Standard reduction potential values less idre, adu anode agor kagate, standard reduction potential more idre, adu cathode agor kagate, adu koskara, the SRP of the copper electrode is 0.34 volts irate, SRP of the zinc electrode is minus 0.76 volts irate, when they are connected by the salt bridge, zinc electrode acts as the anode, copper electrode acts as the cathode. This is the base to decide which is anode, which is cathode. Now, once after deciding the anode and cathode, you know the reactions takes place at anode. Anode at which oxidation takes place, cathode at which reduction takes place. During oxidation, commonly metal is converted into metal ion. During reduction, metal ion is converted into metal. Therefore, we can write the off cell reactions and then complete net cell reaction. In the case of Daniel cell, zinc is Zn is converted into Zn2 plus by losing two electron. In the case of 
copper electrode means cathode copper 2 plus ions are converted into copper therefore by adding these two reactions we will get zinc plus copper 2 plus giving this to zinc 2 plus plus copper so here during oxidation removal of electron takes place at anode so that removed electrons are moving from anode to cathode through the external circuit so this is very important the movement of electrons is called electricity that electricity is measured in terms of electromotive force emf that is the difference between the electrode potential of the cathode and electrode potential of the anode so now after uh, knowing the the movement of electrons from anode to cathode we can calculate the cell potential cell potential is equal to e naught of cathode minus e naught of anode e naught of cathode means e naught of copper minus e naught of zinc so e naught of cathode is a 0.34 in the case of copper minus of minus 0.76 there you will get 1.1 volt of emf in the case of daniel cell so this is already we have discussed in the theory classes but based on this very important cet questions nu now saha discuss maadabodu illi electrons are moving from anode to cathode so that cathode should receive should receive the electron given by the anode so that cathode acts as the positive electrode in the case of daniel cell and zinc electrode means anode acts as the negative electrode but in the case of electrolytic cell cathode is the negative electrode anode is the positive electrode but in the case of galvanic cell cathode develops positive charge anode develops negative charge and also you should know some information regarding the cell notation commonly as per the iupac rule anode must be in the left hand side cathode must be in the right hand side so between the two we are going to write the salt bridge dip d is indicated by single slash salt bridge is indicated by double slash so that we can write the symbolic notation of the daniel cell so zn is dipped in zn2 plus so this is the anode again copper is dipped in copper 2 plus so this is the cathode so these two are connected by salt bridge if it is the standard daniel cell you have to mention one molar concentration here also one molar so here one molar so this is the anode this is the cathode so that you can write the op cell reaction zn is converted into zn2 plus by losing two electrons copper 2 plus plus two moles of electron to form copper so that net cell reaction is zn plus copper 2 plus giving rise to zn 2 plus plus copper this is the net cell reaction so that you can calculate the cell potential cell potential can be calculated by e not of cell is equal to e not of copper minus e not of zinc so copper value you know that 0.34 minus of minus 0.76 volts so that plus 1.1 volt after knowing the information regarding the daniel cell in some cases we are going to use even inert electrodes also why we are using inert electrodes and i should know some information suppose if you take iron 2 plus fe 2 plus and fe 3 plus ions both are in the solution state in such cases one supporter that is called adsorbent is required in such cases we are using inert electrodes on the surface of which the reaction takes place but to measure the srp of any other electrode we are going to use the standard hydrogen electrode standard hydrogen electrode potential is assumed to be taken as zero so that symbolic notation of the c that is also very important uh, for ct so this is the symbolic notation of platinum so this is a hydrogen hydrogen is a gas hydrogen gas is absorbed on the surface of platinum so pressure must be 1 bar then dipped in h plus ion concentration of that h plus ion must be 1 molar so this is the symbolic notation by using that standard hydrogen electrode all other electrode potential can be measured experimentally so now 
after knowing the SRP of all other electrodes, you should know some information regarding the SRP of SRP values. Uh, importantly, lesser SRP element acts as the good reducing agent, higher SRP element acts as the good oxidizing agent, lesser, lesser SRP element is more reactive, higher SRP element is less reactive. These concepts are used in the all the SRP values are used in the now, tremendous applications to discuss about this. If you SRP calculate the standard hydrogen electrode na use the standard use standard hydrogen electrode na use the SRP of the other electrode can be calculated. But electrode potential depends on the concentration of the ions. Agadre, different concentrations le how to calculate the reduction potential is the major question. That is why that problem is commonly we are using Merced equation.